channel. This week I thought I would vlog my kind of like weekend because I have some really cute fall decor that I got that I want to share with you guys and we're going to decorate my house and I thought I would just take you guys with me throughout the rest of my weekend. It is Friday afternoon and I spent all morning getting some content ready to go live in the next couple of weeks and I'm finished with work so that means I am getting ready for the day. My sisters are um coming or Lauren lives here now but Amanda's coming to, down, to town so we're gonna all be in the same city for once. I don't really know exactly what we're doing but we're gonna hang out finally. We haven't seen each other all together and hung out in probably over a month which is a long time for us. I really want to have like a productive weekend and get stuff prepped for next week because next week is a pretty busy week as well. I have a couple of events in Dallas. Events <laughs> in Dallas like we never have events. So yeah, I just thought I would just kind of catch up with you guys and give you guys a little life update while I got ready. This week was an emotional one to say the least. If you guys were on my Instagram this week, you guys know what happened. Basically, I had like a major health scare where um, I had to have a nail biopsy, which this was kind of a long time coming. I just kind of put it off a little bit because I was, I don't know. I was kind of avoiding the situation, but I just got to the point where I couldn't avoid it anymore. Basically, I had this brown line on my nail, which some of you have even commented on in videos and stuff like, Lena, you need to go get that checked out. And I have actually been getting it checked out for the, over a year now. It just got to the point where it was like big enough that my dermatologist, I actually saw several dermatologists and they were all just like, you have to have a biopsy. And a nail biopsy is very like invasive and I don't wanna like go into too much detail and like, get you all grossed out but it's just yeah it's not pretty got that done i had to wait a week for the results and that brown line can be found in people who have like like olive skin or darker skin and you know it can be normal just like a normal mole but then it could also be a type of melanoma which was really 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 scary for me and like thank god everything came back normal alhamdulillah i'm so 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 thankful and it just made me like just like snap me back into reality and just realize like what's important in my life and like this life is so short. I think we're given these experiences for a reason and yeah, it was really, really hard, but my heart goes out to anyone who has had to deal with anything. I mean, mine was just a scare. I can't imagine if it was actually something, I would have just been so devastated. So praying for all of you and your families to be healthy, inshallah. I have this bandage on my finger from now on. I'm gonna be wearing something to cover up my nail for probably about six months. So that's, if you ever see me with a bandage on, that's why, because it's just, not gonna look like a normal nail. On a lighter note, <laughs> yesterday I found out that little old Lena, little old with love Lena, <laughs> got nominated for a Streamy Award, you guys. And if you don't know what a Streamy Award is, basically because I did not know what it was either <laughs> until I found out yesterday, it's basically like the Oscars of YouTube. Like, it's a really, really big deal. I am so flattered, so honored just to even be recognized, like, what like my jaw was like on the floor so i got nominated in the fashion category next to so many other super talented people and i am just like literally mind blown about this i'm just i'm just so thankful to like be recognized like i don't think i'm gonna win i don't think it's open to the public to vote or anything i don't think there's like any way that anyone could vote for me i don't even know who picks the winner so if i get any news on that i will update you guys but that was just like such amazing news and i'm just so flattered now that my makeup is done i'm gonna go quickly get myself put together put my outfit all on share with you what i'm wearing okay super cozy vibes today even have on my little house shoes these are by emu australia and my cat loves these things i don't know he also loves that rug back there i think he loves the like this sheep skin this cardigan is from express i love this nude color obviously it's just like the perfect shade of nude and i love the duster length and then i have on an undershirt from h m it's this really soft um, long sleeved high neck rust colored top so i love the color of it and then these wide leg jeans are old from free people but i have some similar ones that i can link from mango that i just got recently and then Hijab is blush by Hot Hijab that I've been wearing nonstop for the past few months. And then Monica Benadire little rose gold coin necklace. Okay, laid out all of my fall decor that I'm going to be 
just putting around the house i wanted to just kind of walk you through like my thought process you guys know i'm not a super like cutesy pumpkin-y type of person but i figured there's really no way that i can get away from pumpkins for decorating for fall and i found some really cute pastel colored ones from Leo. we were at the pumpkin patch the other day and we got these three and then i figured i needed a few more so i got the little ones and then this little pumpkin from my local grocery store then i have some cinnamon sticks that i got and i decorated with some cinnamon sticks last year i just put them in a little bowl and i just love the earthy like natural touch that it gave so my theme for the fall decor is just gonna be like neutrals tans brown then i have this pompous grass that i had left over and look what i made you guys i made a little arrangement isn't that so so cute. I'm going to be putting that in my bookshelf and I just think it's going to look so good. I got these little mugs from Target. They were only like $5, you guys. And I had originally just gotten the L and then I brought this stuff home and I was like, I need another one for Omar. And they, I went back and they didn't have an O. So I got an S for Snowbar. So it's like Lena and then who is that? <laughs> I already had this little chopping block. I already had these candlesticks from, they are looking kind of sad, <laughs> but that's all I have right now. Um, so I figured I can do some kind of like little tablescape over there with this Naughty Kitty <laughs> and um, decorate my coffee table. And yeah, we'll just kind of see where everything ends up. Let's go ahead and get to decorating. Okay guys, this is my little simple fall tablescape. I think that is so cute. These pumpkins might be too big for the dining table, but you know what, that's fine. It's just for looks anyways. Wish I could light the candles, but I lost my lighter. <laughs> But that's okay. This is so, so cute. I'll have to get a lighter soon. I think we're going to be having a Friendsgiving next month. So I want to make sure that I have all my fall decor ready. And maybe I'll get some smaller pumpkins to put on the table. So excited to share with you guys all the updates that I've done to my living room over the past couple of weeks. I got out a lot of the decor from last year. But I added a few touches here and there of like some more fall tones and fall textures that I think really just make it seem a lot more cozy in here. The first update are are our curtains and Omar put these up I think a couple of weeks ago so I just love the look of white curtains on a bronze curtain rod I just think that looks so sophisticated and I love them so much I got the rod from Overstock I believe and then the curtains themselves are these like linen -y material from West Elm and I love 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 them so let's go ahead and move on to my coffee table so I'm so excited I kind of set up a little pumpkin spice latte little serving platter and I'm gonna go ahead and make those with you guys today because I found a really good healthy recipe that I think you guys are going to love. I already made them once and I am just obsessed. So I have some cinnamon sticks. I have a cute little napkin that I got from Target and then the cups are from Target. A lot of the stuff is from last year, but I added some more cinnamon sticks and a few little candles. And I really wish that I had my lighter so I could light these candles to make it look a lot more cozy, but that's okay. I have right here our little cozy chenille blanket that I got from Target that I just love. I just draped that over our little chair. And for pillows, you guys, I'm so happy with these. So these two were from last year. I got this one from Target and this one from Marshalls, but this one is new from Zara Home. I just got some really cute stuff in from Zara Home yesterday, actually. I could not wait to like <laughs> open it with you guys. I went ahead and put it all out because I was so excited. So I have the same pillow arrangement on the other side and I just love symmetry and I just think that looks so so good with like all the fall tones and textures then moving on to the bookshelf so this is still a work in progress it's definitely not where I want it to be but I love restoration hardware vibes and you guys I found the perfect little pottery pieces from Zara home I saw these on Lydia Millen's um, YouTube channel and I like as soon as she started unboxing them I was like I have to have those and I was like a little bit scared that they weren't going to be able to ship to the U.S. at first, but they definitely do. To me, they just look very restoration hardware vibes and I am obsessed. So those 
three right there are all from Zara Home. I love them. This is just my little pompous arrangement that I think is so, so cute and adds a little touch of fall to my bookshelf. So that's the bookshelf so far. I definitely have a lot of work to do on this. I think I wanna add some books and like maybe some bookends and maybe some more brass elements. So yeah, definitely a work in progress, but I love these little pottery pieces that I just got, so, so cute. This little guy is also from Zara Home, another pottery element that is just so cute. It's, it's a bigger piece, so I have it on the floor and I really wanted to find some like taller pompous to put in it. But for now, it's just a chill in there. I don't think I've shared with you guys my little faux olive tree. So this is from World Market, and I just think it looks very authentic for a faux plant. I need to figure out how I'm going to cover up that part. Maybe I'll put like some rocks or something to cover up the base just so it looks a little bit more real. But I love olive plants. I feel like after we went to Italy, they were just everywhere, and they are super on trend this season as well. So there's another overview of our cozy fall living room. I hope you guys like it. Oh, I also got this basket, which I know I had last year, but somehow like my, I had my big plant in it and it got destroyed, so I got a new one. And I love, love, love this material. Just, I feel it goes so well with my home. Didn't really know what to do with these pumpkins, so I just placed them in that wooden bowl and I think it adds a nice little fall touch to my kitchen. I just, I like it to be like super clean and minimal in my kitchen. I don't like too many things out that don't have to be out. So yeah, and I wish I could put a candle on my countertop as well. But this one, this one, this is why I cannot do that. <laughs> this boy has been very, very naughty recently. He's been really, really upset because I've taken him outside, I think like four times this week, which is a lot more than usual because um, we were kind of avoiding it while he was healing with his leg and everything. But now that he's healed, I was like, you know what, I'll just take him outside and you know, we can take him on walks. Well, that reminded him that there's like a whole world out there that he hasn't been able to see. So he's been so upset inside you guys. And so I've been having him inside the past few days to try to like get, let him like forget about it and it's he's finally calming down but the past few days have been awful he's just been meowing and meowing and meowing my head off <laughs> and now you're just gonna clean yourself like you're just an innocent little boy okay now i really want to make these healthy pumpkin spice lattes that i made i think it was last week because they are so delicious and they're so much healthier for you than the starbucks one i know that like we've been drinking the starbucks ones and we all do it but it's just not the best thing for us and it has like lots of chemicals and we don't know exactly what all is in it so i'm gonna make one at home it's super clean and like dairy free and like processed sugar free and it's just delicious and it actually has like a real pumpkin in it so let me get the ingredients out and we'll do it together almond milk puree pumpkin pumpkin pie spice and maple syrup and what else there's something else coffee <laughs> I'm not gonna be making myself coffee because I don't drink caffeine, but I'll make some for Omar. For me, I'm gonna be using this Ticino tea bag, and this is basically like an herbal tea that looks like coffee, it smells like coffee, it tastes like coffee, it's crazy. So yeah, it's really good. It also doesn't have any acid as well, so if you suffer from like problems with like the acidity from coffee, then this is a really good option and doesn't have caffeine. So I'm gonna make that for myself and then some coffee for Omar, and then we'll get started turn it over here okay so I'm making coffee for Omar and I wanted to share this just in case you guys would be interested so um, what I've been doing the past few days is I've been brewing his coffee with a little bit of cinnamon powder like in the coffee and some people put it in like after they you know make the coffee they put it on top or they'll, they'll like stir it in but you still get like the grittiness from the cinnamon you know when you do that so if you like brew it with the coffee and it just gives you that flavoring so he loved it and it smells so good Okay, I thought it'd be easier to show you guys like this. So, this is that Ticino tea bag that I was talking about. It's the Dandelion Dark Roast. That's the one that I have tried and I really like it. I, I think I've tried the hazelnut one as well, but this one is just basically like the flavor of black coffee, which I like. So, I have my tea bag. I'm going to go ahead and pour my hot water and you'll see it literally looks like like as dark as coffee whenever it's finished. Oh, now you're a good boy. Now you're a good boy. Oh. He always tricked me. Okay, so I broke down and I got a milk frother because the first time I made this, it was not like, you know, 
very it wasn't frothy at all basically it was just heated up milk and it just wasn't the same it did not taste like a latte or anything like that so i got a milk frother this is the nespresso one and not gonna lie it was not cheap so i probably shouldn't have bought this one but it is amazing you guys literally i've already tried this and it is so freaking good i actually got this entire recipe from dr mona on youtube i will link her video down below where she makes this entire thing and she goes through the entire process of making this drink with you guys and all you do is you just turn on the milk frother and this is gonna heat the milk and mix everything together and froth it all up and i'm so excited so i added the ingredients to the milk frother it's frothing it all up and mixing everything together something's happening <laughs> i the last time i made it i only put one cup of almond milk and now it's like dripping down because i put two so maybe you're only supposed to put like a certain amount in there okay, now that my little mixture is all nice and foamy i'm gonna go ahead and pour it into my ticino and i struggled so much with this you guys because um i guess the last time i used a lot less milk or something but it was so much foamier and like so much more foam than this it was literally like the whole thing was foam pretty disappointed with my foam on top but that's okay it's still gonna taste good i'm just adding a little bit of extra pumpkin pie spice okay <gasps> time for the taste test Okay, oh my gosh, okay. So it's definitely not as sweet as the one from Starbucks, but you could definitely add more maple, maple syrup. I feel like maybe I could add like a touch more sweetener, but I don't really like my coffees that sweet, like I said. You can actually taste the pumpkin because it actually has a real pumpkin in there. I love the pumpkin pie spice, and you could totally make this like a lot more creamy if you added like real milk, but I try to stay dairy-free most of the time. So I'll leave the recipe listed down below along with the video that I followed from Dr. Mana. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm not sure what happened yesterday. I was planning on vlogging the night, but we wound up just like doing nothing. Like literally, I just went to my parents' house. I actually brought Leo with me so he could play with my mom's cat and we literally just sat on the couch and like vegged out until like 10 p.m. <laughs> we did nothing and we were just like so exhausted from the week. Like I don't know how people can go and do fun stuff on Friday night usually. I feel like everyone is just exhausted. But anyways, um, I am dressed and ready for the day. It's around 2 p.m. now and my sisters were actually supposed to be here at 1 but I actually didn't like finish getting ready until like 30 minutes ago because I knew they were going to be late. We're going to just go run some errands. There's really nothing to do in this small town except for like go to Target. Omar's working tonight so I told them they should come over like back to my house and we can like bake something like super fall and like just have like a fun baking night so we'll see what what the day brings i tried something a little slightly different with my eye makeup today i haven't worn eyeliner in a long time so today i wanted to do like a little subtle wing so i took like a little smudgy liner by mark jacobs and i just kind of like smudged it on my lash line and then just like brushed it out with a little brush and just mean like a really i don't even know if you can see it on camera but it's just like a really subtle little wing and I feel like it just kind of defines the eye a little bit better this is the outfit today just a really simple basic fall outfit even though the weather is very like finicky and today it's 75 whereas like a couple of days ago it was perfect and it was like in the 50s and we were just like so excited and then it went back to hot again so I tried to like wear just like you know a little bit lighter weight layer so I have on a blazer from Zara that I got last year this undershirt is from H&M and my wide leg jeans are from H&M and usual blush chiffon by hot hijab and then my Gorgiana necklace and um, Gorgiana actually gave me a discount code and I will leave it in my description box um I think I'm gonna be wearing these um sneakers with this outfit as well just to like run around town so just waiting on my sisters to get here. They were supposed to be here like an hour ago. Okay, one thing that I didn't show you guys yesterday is my front porch because I did not like decorate it 
that much but i wanted to show it to you because i'm very proud of it okay so here we have my front porch and i'm so proud because i just got these mums from home depot the other day and they're so beautiful and they're blooming and i just love them i've only had them for about a week so we'll see how long they last but i also got these planters from home depot and i thought they matched the door perfectly my door needs to be restained unfortunately all the weather and elements have kind of destroyed the staining on the door wouldn't it be pretty to have two wreaths there as well i don't know i'm not much of a wreath person but i feel like that would look so pretty there what do you guys think i was gonna do pumpkins but nothing really matched the space so i was gonna do like orange pumpkins and it just was not like going with like the modern theme of, theme of my house um I mean, maybe white pumpkins would look good, but I was just like, no, I'm just gonna stick with the mums and just keep it super simple because I just don't wanna spend that much money anyways. <laughs> My sisters picked me up. Hey, hey, we have hey. the girls in the front. They pushed me to the back, but I'm not <laughs> complaining, I have all this room. <laughs> Should I return those shoes? Which shoes? Oh, Lauren got some dad sneakers, like the big, chunky, trendy ones. Where'd you get them? H&M, they were only $35. I think you should get the Nike Air Force. Yeah, the, I've seen cuter ones, honestly. So yeah, I'm drinking some peppermint tea and Amanda just got a Topo Chico. Yes. And Lauren got a peppermint tea as well. <laughs> so we're at Target. We're in the cat section because I want to get Leo a new toy because he's been really bored. So Aww. he loves the feather toy, but he needs like something else to keep him busy and occupied. A carrot. I just need like something with a lot of catnip in it. <laughs> I have organic oh, they have catnip cat spray, catnip mint for my bougie cat. Okay, I found this beautiful eucalyptus wreath that I think I'm gonna get two of to put on my door. I think that's gonna look so good, and it'll be good for year round too. We always end up in the blanket and the pillow section, but I wanted to show you guys. Picked up this little laser toy for Leo, so now I can play with him by just sitting on the couch, and it's just gonna be amazing. <laughs> Really yeah, like that's that. gonna look good. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. It looks good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks really good. Okay, we're about to see what Leo does with this little laser toy. He's this never seen no I just saw it at work. He's never seen one of these before, so <laughs> this is gonna be so fun. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Chipotle going. Mm -hmm. This sounds so good right now. Mm -hmm. Change into something a little bit more comfy. I literally just threw on that same cardigan from yesterday and then a jersey hijab. This is Camel by Hot Hijab. And I sent Omar off to work. My sister and mom left a little bit earlier and I am gonna go run to the grocery store real fast and get stuff to first to make some banana bread tonight. I'm gonna take it over to my mom's house and then we'll make it over there. So we were planning on baking together at my house but everyone is so tired this weekend. Literally everyone just wants to like veg on the couch again tonight so i'm gonna bring some stuff to make some banana bread and then we're just gonna like chill over there so i'll take you guys with me i'm gonna have to take my little wreaths back because um omar was looking at them and he usually doesn't have like very strong opinions about home decor he usually just lets me do like whatever but this time he was just like lena i don't know about those he just like didn't like them so <laughs> i'm gonna take them back because i just want to like Make sure that he likes the stuff too. Let's go get some banana bread stuff and I'll take you guys to my mom's house. Just me at the grocery store on a Saturday night, living it up, <laughs> getting stuff to make banana bread. <laughs> at my mama's house and I have all my ingredients laid out. I even found the perfectly ripe banana, oh, that one opened, <laughs> but the perfectly ripe bananas for banana bread. And even the person who was checking me out he was like, oh, those would be perfect for banana bread. <laughs> and I was like, I'm making it tonight. <laughs> perfect. So I'm gonna whisk all this stuff together. We have three ripe bananas, we have chocolate chips, we have almond butter and almond flour. We have vanilla. I brought the pumpkin pie spice just cause I think a little bit of that in there would be good. We have some baking soda, baking powder, salt, and some coconut oil spray for the pan and eggs and some sugar. I'll link the recipe that I'm gonna follow down below.
Happy Sunday, everyone. I'm not showing my face right now just because I look a wreck. I'm not wearing my hijab. I'm still in my pajamas and I just have been taking a very slow morning. But I wanted to share my decor now that I have all my candles lit. I think it just makes it look so much more cozy. I got a lighter when we were at Target yesterday. I even went ahead and lit the dining table tablescape and I just think that looks so cute so I took some little video clips that I'll try to insert into this video somewhere this is the leftover banana bread from yesterday I had a piece this morning with a cup of peppermint tea and I just had a really lovely morning except <laughs> One thing that gave me a mini heart attack. So since I'm burning candles, I always like to kind of crack a window just to let some fresh air in as well. Please excuse how dirty these windows are, but I had cracked this window probably to about like right there. Like not really enough for Leo to really even be able to squeeze himself out, I thought. <laughs> but that little boy stuck his nose in the window and like pushed it up and squeezed his body out. And <laughs> he was trying to escape, but... I was able to open the door and like bring him back inside easily, but oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot handle him. This is kind of weird me talking and like not showing my face, but I'm going to get ready in just a second and I'll talk to you guys like more properly. But if any of you guys know of any solutions, we were thinking of maybe getting him like a GPS tracker so we could like make sure we knew where he was, but I'm just so scared to lose him and I want to take him outside like on the leash and stuff, but then he freaks out and like just doesn't want to stay inside ever again after I take him outside for a little bit, so please help. <laughs> While I was in the shower, I had my little robot vacuum go all around and clean everything, and I'm gonna like just wipe down the kitchen and like the countertops and some of the cabinets and things like that. Actually, before I clean, I actually need to shoot something. So Omar, he just woke up. I'm gonna make him some coffee and then we need to take a couple pictures. So this is what I'm shooting today. I'm working with Walmart on my Instagram, not for this video or anything, but I thought I would go ahead and just kind of tell you guys what I'm about to share. Basically, I put together some products that I love for nighttime, and I have been obsessed with the Clinique Take the Day Off range. They sent me this little eye makeup remover, and you can get this on Walmart, and I am just obsessed with it. It's such a good eye makeup remover. I've talked about cleansing balms recently, but the ones that I've been mentioning have been like super expensive, like the L this one but I just recently tried the Clinique take the day off balm and you guys it is amazing like you have to try it I think it was $30 so way less expensive than the Elemis one and it works amazing it doesn't have a scent and so if you're like sensitive to scents or anything I don't think any of the Clinique products are scented so then I haven't used this one in forever and when I saw it on the Walmart website I was like I have to have that I used to love this cleanser it's such a good gentle simple cleanser and it smells so 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 good and then of course I'm using Clinique Moisture Surge as usual and then also since this is a um, like a nighttime routine post I wanted to share this Glow Habit Sleep Well supplement so this these are the like the gummies that I've been loving recently and they have a melatonin one so it's like perfect for like nighttime to help you sleep so those are the products that I'm going to be talking about on my Instagram soon and I would totally totally recommend all of these hey. No don't burn yourself um, can you take it more from an angle over here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. He's done. They were cute. They were cute, but I'm scared I'm gonna post too much with my cat and people are gonna get annoyed. Let me set some of these. Oh. Yeah, there you go. That's cute. Is it cute? That's cute. Maybe I should have like a tea cup or something. So. You can just hold the box. It's like a nighttime. I don't wanna look like. Fine, my product, you know? It's not, it's not being sponsored. This is sponsored. Really? This is for Walmart. This is Walmart Beauty? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Fine. Just take the picture. Okay. Do you want me to get you a Do I sit? Do you think you would? Yeah, can you bring me the L one? No. Can we do just a few more? Or maybe I'll sit. Does that look okay? Yeah. Is my leg showing? Yeah. Too much? A lot. Sag. Sag. Okay. Ooh. I like this better! Yay, we're finished.
finished and I think those are gonna turn out so super cute just so you guys know like obviously this video isn't sponsored I am working with them on my Instagram but I chose every single product myself and would totally recommend every single one so anytime I do a sponsorship it's always something that I would actually recommend so whether it's a sponsorship or not you guys don't have to like worry about like what I recommend to you guys it's always gonna be truly authentic and things that I love so just so you guys know we've got the game going for Omar and he's got his banana bread and his coffee he worked last night poor thing so he just woke up it's like well he woke up like maybe 30 minutes ago an hour an hour oh my god I'm losing track of time I'm gonna go to the grocery store and grab stuff to make a chicken noodle soup because that's just it just sounds so so good for this weather Okay, just finished wiping down the kitchen and I have been obsessed with these cleaning products. So they actually have all kinds of products from like body hair to like cleaning supplies and it's called Love Home and Planet. Wow, you guys, this stuff smells amazing. My favorite two scents are the lavender and argan oil and the vetiver and tea tree. It just smells so, so good. I got these at Target, so you guys definitely pick one up if you need a new like kitchen spray. I also use these to clean my bathroom earlier and I think I wanna get the stuff to like mop with because it would just make my whole house smell so, so good. I was planning on mopping, but Omar said he would fill up the little cartridge with the water and stuff for the robot vacuum to mop. So yeah, and then Leo's gonna destroy the house. Aren't you? Aren't you? Yeah, pretty boy. Back home from the grocery store and the robot vacuum has been circling around and it looks pretty good. I paused it because it was making a lot of noise and I want to be able to talk to you guys real fast. This is everything that I got today. Hopefully this will be enough for me to make the soup and then pesto pasta with shrimp and that's pretty much all this is going to make. I didn't really get too much extra. I never really get any snacks although I did get a um, like a little thing of fresh mango and I've been snacking on this because I haven't eaten anything all day except for a piece of banana bread so I'm starving and this is actually um like surprisingly crunchy for a mango it's like not ripe at all but still actually tastes so good I have been struggling with like straying away from my everyday smoothie it's just like my chocolate banana smoothie every morning and it really still has a little bit of caffeine in it so I really can't handle my smoothie anymore which is so sad so I'm trying to find a recipe for a green smoothie that's really good and my sister Amanda and Lauren recommended one to me that has peaches coconut water banana what else spinach and ginger so I got where's my ginger ginger <laughs> so I'm gonna try out a new green smoothie this week and see how that goes so I got the frozen peaches and mango just to try out and see which one I like better in my smoothies then for the soup I got chicken broth I got celery I already have carrots and I'm also just gonna put some zucchini and some squash I'm also gonna put some onion and garlic and parsley and lemon I just love when my soup has lots of lemon and it's just like really tart I love that then I have some penne pasta I'm gonna use this for the pesto pasta then I have some pine nuts for the pesto pasta some basil for the pasta I just got some avocados so I can make some avocado toast for breakfast then I got shrimp to eat with the pasta some more bananas because I like to freeze those for smoothies and then eat some fresh sometimes and I think that is everything that I got finished well I almost finished the soup I went ahead and added shredded chicken so to make the shredded chicken all I did is just baked chicken breast like how I normally do and I seasoned that with some allspice and garlic salt and then I just shredded it as soon as I got it out of the oven and then just like stuck it in the soup so it could all like cook together and have like the chicken flavor get in the broth and things like that so I think this is gonna be so good I'm gonna add the parsley and the lemon at the end we'll come back to that in a little bit because that's gonna have to cook for a little while but I I'm gonna go 
clean myself up. I need to pray also. And Omar just went to play soccer with some of his friends. So when he comes back, I think we're gonna go eat dinner tonight somewhere and just have like a little date night for the soup. That will last us all week, which is why I love making big soups like that or like stews because they stay so good for a long period of time. And we can just kind of like eat that for lunch or for dinners or just whenever we're hungry throughout the week. So I'm feeling really good because I feel like this was a really productive weekend. I cleaned, I cooked, and I got some work done. The soup is finished. I went ahead and added the juice of two lemons. I'm gonna go ahead and add parsley now. Okay, does this not look so good? I'm so excited to eat this this week. Okay, just prayed and it's like after seven o'clock. Omar's not home yet and so I need to give Leo a bath. So I thought we would do that together. Come on, baby boy. We're gonna give you a bath because you're looking really nappy. Come on, come on. He loves the water. <laughs> Got a lot of work to do now. Sorry. He ran up the stairs so he could lick himself in peace. <laughs> but if you guys are wondering why he handled that so well, it's just basically because Bengals like water and they're a little bit different than regular cats. And if you're also wondering what is upstairs, because I don't think I've ever taken you guys up there, it's because that's Omar's man cave. I actually have my desktop computer like in the corner up there as well, so I actually work up there, but it's like, I feel like it, I'm in a dungeon, so it's like not the most ideal place for me. Okay, it's nine o'clock at night, or this one, where are you? It's finally ready. <laughs> I had to eat some of the soup because I was so hungry, and it turned out so good. I can't wait. You're gonna love it. I'm so excited. We're basically just gonna go have burgers. It's just a super late night meal they have this really good veggie burger that i love so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i will see you guys in my next one